they think, they think, I think. Printed invoice. Hello, hello. Now, let's see how it looks like a room, which is like 400 francs, and is the cheapest one that we found it here. Let's just see. Boo, boo. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Okay, a little small kitchen, which we will not use it. Some stuff. This is the view. Should I take a selfie here? Okay, just kidding. Now, let's check this one out. Even if it's the cheapest room, this is really, really, really amazing. Boom. Good morning and welcome to a new video on the Storiada channel. Ah, it's a beautiful day and the plan for today is uh, no, not, not that one. So today we are in Zermatt. We have arrived yesterday. We have left our car in uh, Zurich Tash. We came with the train uh, up till uh, Zermatt. It has the same pattern as Muren, which is basically a car-free um, village. And yeah, we had a good sleep, had some good breakfast. And now here near this uh, volley, volley, yeah, volley, sheep. We are shooting this uh, this intro, and the plan for today is to do a 30 kilometers hike with almost 2,000 meter elevation. Let's see how it will go. It will climb us from uh, from Zermatt up to Matterhorn. Wait, okay, we are not going to get to Matterhorn today nor tomorrow because we don't have the skills or the gears, but we are going to get on uh, Gornergrad, which is the one the wonderful uh, plateau, how it's called? Um, plateau. Yeah, okay, sort of like that. It's uh, located at 3,100 meter elevation and hopefully we are going to pass a bit toward that one and see the, the small path that goes toward the, um, the glacier, basically. Okay, we don't have the equipment and we are not going to do that one, but definitely we want to see it and we want to, to taste a bit of that feeling. And yeah, if everything will be okay, why not? Maybe in the very close future we'll do a hike over the glacier up till Montarosa who can get up there for like doing a climb from one hour from um, I think Gornergrad actually no a bit more than one hour I think two hours but you go from Gornergrad you do a short hike over the um, glacier and get to Monterosa Hut where you can spend your night there but yeah enough talking let's see how this wonderful hike will look like I think you can see it look how gorgeous it is if that one is familiar or you don't have an idea where to pick it up from well, just a reminder it's that small peak of mountain Toblerone chocolate okay, now there is not going to be present anymore on the, on the chocolate but that's not the point and what's really nice on our hike there is that it's not the first time when we are going there it's actually the second but it's the first time when we are doing the hike uh, we've been there, not last summer, last, last winter, but two winters ahead. And we spent the night into one igloo. And it was from freezing cold there. Oh, it was one amazing experience. And one experience that made us drink a lot of wine on that night. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, morning. I think she needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> On our descent, we should get up to, to the very proximity of the place where we've slept, in that igloo. Okay, definitely there is, there is not going to be any igloo there. The funny part for that one oh, 
and that one is called Igludorf. It's the fact that there are a couple of artists hmm, that okay eating and speaking. There are a couple of artists who are living in that igloo for a couple of weeks, I think, maybe even a bit more, like a month. And they are doing ice sculpting. I'm going to show you to you a couple of pictures from that moment. The good part is that there is an external uh, jacuzzi where in case that you get really, really, really cold, you can go there and jump in. Hope that we are going to be able to see today, especially the ibex and the wild goat. Five lakes. It should bring a really gorgeous perspective over the Matterhorn mountain and it should do a loop and then you can go back to Zermatt but we are going to go straight up to uh, uh, to Gornergrat and if this would be okay uh, then definitely tomorrow we are going to attempt to climb to Hornihute which is a hut like a cabin at the base of a Matterhorn peak. Uh, Matterhorn had the first climbing successful attempt in 1865. Oh boy, that's a long time ago. Yes, 18, sorry. 1865. I'm forecasting the future. Ooh. <laughs> That little fellow, the mighty Matterhorn. I am not sure you from the camera you can see it, but that whole part from there, that entirely, it's a, it's a glacier. Well, day by day melting, unfortunately, but yes. Really, really gorgeous. And the weather, at least until now, it proves to be quite, quite perfect. And the cows! <laughs> By the way, how can a cow stand out that noise constantly? I think I would, I would get crazy.
a little bit of insight. So, Matterhorn, at the base there, you have Hurli, Hurli Hute. Then we go up here, there, up, I think there, yes. That one, I think it's Gorner Grad. I'm not sure if it's that one or that one, one of those. Behind, it's the oldest glacier that uh, you can find in the Swiss Alps. And uh, it's the one where most of the climbers, they come here to do some, um, some hikes. Yeah, you need all kinds of things. You need piolet, you need uh, rope, you need the helmet, uh, spikes and all that thing. And one small uh, important argument, skills. That um, you feel it a bit. Here there are, I don't know, I think, check, 2300 meters elevate, elevation. Okay. And 32 degrees. And yeah. But it's gorgeous, right? That's the reason why you might want to come here during the summer and in the winter for the obvious reasons with the ski, snowboard and all those winter sports. How it is? It's hard. We just had 600 meters elevation from 2000 and that's 2000. Yeah, you had the same. Hmm? You had the same. Yes, definitely. Well, we cheated a bit because when we start the, the path from the base of Zermatt, we confused a bit the, the hiking path with the, with the train and we took an elevator that drove us 100 meters on top. But after that, everything, it was by, by hike and it feels so good. So, next point, Stelize. Stelize. <laughs> nah. Some sheep. I don't know where, where is the shepherd. But we should get to that lodge from there, that cabin. And okay, we kind of took a wrong turn. And unfortunately, we had to get back and climb a bit more. So, this delayed a bit our, our path. Either way, we kind of kind of took with more one more than one hour until now versus the the time that was scheduled, but it doesn't really matter in the end. It's all about having fun, right? Okay, let's go next. Okay, now, so, uh, we're a bit out of the loop with, uh, with our plans, at least the initial plans. Uh, spend a bit more time here. I had to take a, to take a short swim in the, in the lake. It's so hot. And it was a pity to not enjoy the water a bit. But the thing is that it's a bit late and it's half past one theoretically by now we should have been somewhere down and be ready to start climbing up to Gorner Grat well it is what it is and yeah let's see how it will how it will evolve but uh, 
we are already on the part where I mean more or less the vegetation is out or they are just small small bushes and yeah a lot of rocks and there is a hute in front of us we are going there maybe we can find some water because I don't know why I couldn't see any water source here there was one for the sheeps but I'm not sure exactly if it was okay I have my filter with me and I will try to see here if I can pick up something and yeah after that we are going to descend go down to the base from where we should climb up to Kornograt and after that let's see if the weather will not be okay or if it will be too late or something similar we can always take down the cable car from Gornergrad. Okay, let's see how things are going. Now we came on the other side of the of the hill and we are going back to the base of the Gordon Grat on the other side and literally there is a one single path left side, right side it's nothing so it's quite amazing this reminds me of Saxon Luke and Santis which they have some, some similar uh, paths. Man, this is really amazing. Oh. Yeah, the, the bad part is that I see the forecast for the weather and doesn't look promising at all. Ooh, okay. And the thing is that around 6 p.m. There is forecasted like a big storm or something similar or I don't know exactly what is that one with green on the Swiss meadow map but ain't something funny and now I think we will be forced to go down from Gornergrat with a cable car let's see if we manage to get up because it's still quite a steep ascending so some some portions where you have like 30 degrees elevation 35 something similar and yeah won't be easy Ooh, look here
Yeah. Honey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to do a hike. It's a gorgeous outside. Short long story. The storm was really ugly and a bunch of thunders. Yeah, we were still kind of exposed, so we took a train. Welcome to Switzerland, the last. <laughs> okay, so now we are going down, having something to eat, and hopefully tomorrow will be a weather that will maybe allow us to go back to Hollywood and hopefully finger crossed. Yeah. Good morning. It is 10 minutes past 8 and we are up for the second hike where we will go to Hurlihute and yeah the weather will be the same as yesterday by the way yesterday was really creepy in the second part of the day when we were supposed to go down the the storm was coming really fast and with a lot of lightnings and thunders and it was fun, but not to be outside in in an open field for uh, to be like a target. But uh, overall, we managed to get to Rottenboden, the first train stop um, from the Gornergrad till down. And yeah, we pick up the train. And today we will go back to the climbing session and to Kurlihute and that one should be we are really tired yesterday we didn't manage to do 30 kilometers but we had like 23 or it almost 2000 and something elevation and it kind of um, yeah exhausted a bit and drained some some of our powers but yesterday we had a good pizza and a glass of wine and this morning a good breakfast, so we should be within the schedule. Except, yeah, the weather which from as well 3, it will start to rain again. So let's see, maybe we will manage to do back and forth, if not we will try the same schema as yesterday, but definitely we are going there. Our first stop today will be Fury, which is the intersection from the cable cars slash trains between the ones that are going toward Gornergrad and those that are going to Purlihute. And yeah, if you want to go from Gornergrad to Hurlihute, you need to go down to Fury and go then up. This looks like a cottage for, I don't know, sheep, cows, some animals, I have no idea, but it's filled with them, but there are so many, this is just abandoned, 
and what I really like is that there are a bunch of runners, of trail runners and they are some really nice trail paths so I guess if you're a fan of that definitely you should try to check, check out Zermatt Are you lost? The Schwarze that one. And Schwarze and from Schwarze we will go straight to Hürlihütte okay. Let's go! I'm really fascinated by this type of, uh, of roof made out of stones and I see that all the houses around the area they are having this, this type of roof and it reminds me of one guy from Netherlands who recently established himself within the Alps he was a bikepack traveler uh, he went two years on a bike and now he said okay he just established in the Italian Alps near Turin and he's just renovating a cabin or something similar like this on his own and yeah he has uh, even a, a video channel I'll post here a link for it it's Martin D something yeah I don't know but this is something similar with what he has to Hurli or Hurli I'm not sure um, and from this place it starts the hike for the Hurli Hurli Hute uh, and it's a uh, white with blue stripe because theoretically it's an alpine path alpine hike but uh, it's not the case now because there is no snow uh, it might be the case maybe for some technical parts but from what I know and from the research that I had it should be quite okay one hour left and we should be there it's quite a rocky terrain around here even more rocky than how it was yesterday and yeah a lot of imagination you are going to see on this on this mountain on Zermatt a bunch of rocks stashed in various uh, forms, place <sighs> if you can see it, but there on that part there is a cave and all that area has glacier on top of it it's quite a famous cave I don't know maybe if today we are going to have some time and if the weather will allow us we'll do that okay now definitely this is the climbing part on the path and we'll need to be a bit careful but definitely it's going to be okay oh but that place is really gorgeous it makes you come here over and over again
No, we made it. We are here. And hello. Yeah, danke. Danke. And this is what we deserve. And the cola. No, it was steep that part. Definitely really steep. And now we are going to have some roshti with uh, fried egg and some potatoes and after that go back hopefully the clouds will be okay and now let's see how the helicopter departs from here yeah let's see let's check out huh? yes mind your head Okay, so finally we managed to do it and now we are going to descend, we are going to do it by foot even if some clouds are coming, doesn't matter, it should be okay. And look there, we have the 3260 meters elevation, I don't think I've been to a higher elevation rather than that one, I'm not sure exactly, no, I don't think, no, I think it's the, the highest one, so it's really, really, really amazing, so now Let's go down. Well, I guess that was it. Two intense days. One for Gornergrad, one for this wonderful uh, Matterhorn and the Hut, Hurli Hute. And if you want to know which are going to be the paths that we chose up, then you're going to find those, uh, those paths in the description. And uh, one kind reminder from me. So please hit that like button there and subscribe so when I'm going to post new videos you're going to be notified and uh, give it some love. Okay, that was about it. Thanks for watching and yeah, wish you a pleasant end of the week and see you next time. Cheers! Let's see if we can get out of it.